Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you for today. We thank you for all that you are and for all that you will continue to be. Heavenly Father, as we're about to dive in into this game, we ask that you lead this game, oh God, because everything that we do is for your glory and your glory alone, oh God. We thank you for all that you want, for all that you will continue to be. We ask that you watch over us continually. We ask that you watch over every single one of our household. Protect us. We love you. Amen. Amen. So tonight, the You Believe is presenting our own family feud. Um, my name is Esther, and I will be hosting tonight. Woo! Yes, it is. We will be starting with Team Moses. Um, you guys will introduce yourselves as the godly attributes that you were given. Hello. Hello, we are Team Moses. Today I am kindness and I am a godly attribute. I'm an attribute of God. So the verse is 1 Chronicles 19.2 says, David thought, I will show kindness to Hanun, son of Nahash, because his father showed kindness to me. Basically, what this verse means is that kind acts will always be remembered and passed down. Hi, everyone. Today, I am obedience, which is another attribute of God. Um, and my verse is John 14, verse 23. And it reads, Jesus answered him, if anyone loves me, he will keep my word and my father will love him. And we will come to him and make our home with him. Amen. Good evening, guys. I am faithfulness. That is my attribute of God. And my verse is 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Amen. You got to be faithful. Hi, I'm Availability, and my verse is Mark chapter 1, verses 17 and 18. And Jesus said to them, follow me, and I will make you become fisher fishers of men. And immediately they left their nets and followed him. So, you know, they left what they had behind and gave it all up to God. Amen. Amen. Um, and now we'll be going to team Abraham, starting with you. Hello, 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 hello. What it is, what it is, what it is. It's Team Abraham here. Um, my attribute of God is love. And my verse is 1 John 4, verse 19. We love because he first loved us. Amen. Amen. My attribute of God is merciful. And my verse is Deuteronomy, verse, Deuteronomy 4, verse 15. All right. <laughs> you did not see any shape at all when the Lord spoke to you from the fire. So you must be very careful about everything that you do. Do not change to do very bad things. Do not make a false god for yourselves because that is wrong. My attribute of God is gracious, and the verse I chose was Psalm 116, verse 5. Gracious is the Lord, and righteous our God is merciful. Amen. Amen. My name is Patience, and that's... Can't hear you. My attribute name, whatever, is Patience, and the verse for Patience is Psalms 37, verse 7. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do not flee when people, when people succeed in their ways, when they carry out their wicked, or when they carry out their wicked schemes. Amen. Amen. Okay, so to begin, can I have my first two contestants, contestants our team leaders? Our first question is, name any Bible story involving water. So go ahead, Junior. Into the mic. The story of Moses. Into the mic. <laughs> the story of Moses. Um, do we have the story of Moses up here? So do you guys want to take it or? Now we we're gonna play. She has to go. Okay. 
Go ahead, Joanna. Hold on, what? The well? The living water well? We have the living water well up there. We're going to play. <laughs> Let's go. So, Jamima, name any Bible story involving water. The story of Moses, when Moses was looking for water. The rock. Do we have when Moses hit the rock? Oh, that was fast, but we didn't do it. Okay, Miss... Gracious, name any Bible story involving water. When Jesus turned water to wine. Do we have when Jesus turned water into wine? Uh, Miss <laughs> Patience, name any Bible story involving water. Is that water? Yeah. Um, Jonah? When he was in the... You said what? Jonah? 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 Hey. All right. So, they... Oh, yeah. We're coming back to you, love. Name any Bible stories involving water. The story of Noah. The story of Noah. Do we have that up there? Miss Jamima. Name any Bible story involving water. Okay. Just say something. Hold on. Yeah, y'all can huddle up and get ready. They said when, ready. When Jesus turned water into wine. You said that. You said that. Right. Just give her. Nobody said that, bro. Somebody, Somebody said, said that. Somebody she said, said it. it. Um, one of them. She did. Um, um, sir. Just right. give him the X. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to this side now. Right. Good. Good job, guys. Miss Obedience. Name any Bible stories involving water. When Jesus was walking on water. Jesus walking on water. Do we have that up there? And we got the points. Woo! So y'all got all our points. <laughs> so we literally answered for y'all. Yeah. But I'm tight, no. Nah. That's crazy. I have, um, you and obedience. No, 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 it's oh, okay. All right. Come on, Mima. Let's go, Mima. Let's go, Mima. Come on, man. Go, Mima. Ah, oh, but Father Abraham had many sons. <laughs> many sons had father. Come on. Okay, our next question will be: Name something Christians should do regularly. Ooh, hey, no, it don't matter. I'm gonna do it again. No, 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 you can't. That's what you can't. She has to guess. Oh, go ahead. Should do regularly. Yeah. Do we have prayer up there? Oh. Wow. Hey, we can't get no X, bro. <laughs> Do you want to pass her for it? Oh, Whoa, she's yeah. passing. Now she passed. Let's go. <laughs> we got to this team. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> she said passing. She said passing. Okay, you can go back. Oh. Miss Faithfulness, name something Christians should do regularly. Fast. Do we have fast up there? Same thing as praying. It's it's called fasting and praying. But so, have yeah. So, <laughs> pick another one, I guess, yeah. That's an X. What do you mean pick another one? That's not an X. That's an X, bro. That's not up there. Oh I my said gosh. the same. Why are you guys arguing? Say another thing. That's a. Say something else. Name something Christians should do regularly. Go to church. She said go to church. Do we have go to church up there? Let's go back to it. Name something that Christians should do regularly. Read their Bible. Read their Bible? Do we have read their Bible up there? 
Na na. Name something Christians should do regularly. Love everybody. Do we have love up there? <laughs> Name something Christians should do regularly. Spread the word. Spread the gospel. Uh, spread the gospel. <laughs> okay. Name something Christians should do regularly. Repent. Repent is up there. Tight now. <laughs> just have fun. Just have fun. Welcome back to TYB's Family Feud. Um, can I have obedience and can I have faithfulness? Hey, that's the funny. Yourself. Okay. Name couples in the Bible. Are you are you serious? Mary and Joseph. Do we have Mary and Joseph? Timer. Oh, okay. I had to check. Abraham and Sarah. Abraham and Sarah. Oh, come on, we're gonna play. 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 They're gonna play. So. Oh. For Team Moses. Um, Wait, name couples in the Bible. I'm availability, and I say Ruth and Boaz. Ruth and Boaz. That's good. I like that. I like that. Let's take it back to you, Joe. Name couples in the Bible. Rachel and Jacob. Rachel and Jacob? Uh. Name couples in the Bible. Esther and <laughs> King David. <laughs> Esther and King David. <laughs> Name a couples in the Bible. Eve. Adam and Eve? What? <laughs> oh, dog. <laughs> what? I said, you hear me? I said, you I got a chance to do it. Name couples in the Bible. I'm about to say what I said. Are y'all getting ready? So we're moving on to team Abraham. I gotta go with. No, I gotta start with you. Name couples in the Bible. Isaac and Rebecca. Do we have Isaac and Rebecca? Is that what it is? Please, please. <laughs> <laughs> so can I have Erica? Alright, double, 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 double. We good, we good, we good, we good. Let's go on, go on, baby. Bro, it's Jeannie, bro, you got this. Name the ten plagues in the Bible. The sea turning into blood. But that's Kate. That's Kate. They gonna no, play. No, 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 no. She didn't. Oh, they were gonna answer. Jeannie, can you name the ten plagues in the Bible? The bugs? The locusts? She's saying with the flies, with the bugs. So do we have the flies up there? 
Locus. It's not the first. Two bugs, bro. Y'all gonna play? Ours is higher. You guys wanna go or not? Yeah. Shut up, bro. You okay, cheating, bro. You in no audience, bro. Chill. Um, Name the ten plagues in the Bible. She thought, bro. All the firstborn sons dead. Um, sacrifice of the first sons. What's the ten? Misobedience. Name the ten plagues in the Bible. Mm -hmm. um. Le leprosy. Leprosy. Do we have leprosy up there? <laughs> Misfaithfulness. Name the ten plagues in the Bible. When it rained for forty days and forty nights. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Name the ten plagues in the Bible. Um, I respectfully don't know the answer. Respectfully, <laughs> <laughs> so X. So, Team Abraham, y'all have a chance to take it off. Me? Famine. Name the ten plagues in the Bible. Famine. Famine? Do we have famine up there? Miss Mima, name the ten plagues in the Bible. No, we get the point. No, we get the point. Famine? Hmm? Get the point. What's number four? Famine? That's part of the place. Number three, hail. 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 That's part and of the what place. is number four? Darkness. Damn, y'all were darkness. But it's ten. You only put five up there, so it's the top okay, five, so I guess. Have, like yeah. Me? Yeah, let's go. And Joe? Name the 12 tribes. <laughs> Benjamin. We have Benjamin up there. Bro, what? Um, Jacob. That's Do we have Jacob up there? That's a, he said name the 12. OK, that's a tribe. I'm going to go back to y'all. Yeah. Judah. Name the 12 tribes. Judah. Do we have Judah up there? If it's not up there, bro, that's cap. All right. Gracious, name the 12 tribes. <laughs> Levi. Do we have Levi up there? <laughs> Miss Erica, name the 12 tribes. Mr. Love, name the 12 tribes. What? I said. Bro, Benjamin not up there? Coming back to Moses, name the 12 tribes. Yeah, that's the third. That's number three. That's, no, it's not. That's three now. What did they get right? Didn't the three people go? All right, go ahead, Jamima. Name the 12 tribes. Reuben. Do we have Reuben up there? Jamima, name the 12 tribes. Joseph. We have Joseph up there. Joanna. 
or sorry, Nana. Name the 12 tribes. Abraham. Do we have Abraham up there? Y'all got a point, though. What is number four? Not Naftali. Wow, I could have thought of And number five? Jazz. Six? I was trying to think of that one. Seven? Yeah. And number eight? That is not the top okay. eight. No, I don't care I what that Welcome back. This is the last round of the Youth Believes Family Feud. We're playing the Fast Money. So I will ask you a series of questions and you will have 20 seconds to answer them. Can you turn off the music? So the first question, besides Satan, name someone else that's considered a bad person. Judas Iscariot. Name a book in the Bible named after someone. Ezekiel. Animals that are mentioned in the Bible. Doves. Something most people give up after they become a Christian. Drinking. And the survey answers are, best saying some, besides saying someone else that's considered a bad person. Judas was the top answer. The second question is, name a book in the Bible named after someone. Ezekiel or 10 points. Animals that are mentioned in the Bible. Doves for 30 points. And something most people give up after they become Christians. Drinking for 50 points. Um, let's get Julie in here. Big How many points do we need? She don't know. Welcome to the stage, Miss Jeannie. So, Joanne just scored your team 140 points, meaning you only have 60 more points to go. 60? Yes, so I will be asking you a series of questions, and you have 25 seconds to answer. Wait, Besides, so wait, wait, a series, 25 seconds to answer each one? Like I get 25 no, seconds for each one or in total? To answer in total. All okay. questions. Okay. okay. Besides Satan, name someone else that's considered a bad, a bad person in the Bible. Judas. Judas. Name a book in the Bible named after someone. Matthew. Animals that are mentioned in the Bible. A lion. Something most people give up after they become a Christian. The world, like worldly possessions. You said worldly, worldly possessions. Worldly possessions. Like the internet. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we have to do the first question again because y'all said the same thing. I have to Besides, do it all over again? No, just the first question. Okay. Besides Satan, name someone else in the Bible that's considered a bad person. Esther, right? Okay, the first question was besides saying, name someone else that's considered a bad person in the Bible. <laughs> name a book in the Bible named after someone. That's it. Ooh, 10 points. And name animals that are mentioned in the Bible. A lion for something most people give up after they become a Christian. World. Fifteen points. Dang. Lost again. So let's clap it up one more time. Clap it up one more time. Boy. It's because y'all lost. <laughs> clap yeah, it up, I clap was it. clapping even though I lost. Yeah.
Yeah, it, it's all right, man. It happens to the best of us. I just found out that Esther was evil. I ain't even... On game. Yeah. I don't know where you I got think, I think somebody said Jacob was one of the tribes, but Jacob is the father of the tribe. <laughs> <laughs> like, Jacob hey. is Israel. <laughs> Literally, bro. And, and I love it, man. But um, as a Youth Believe ministry, we invite anybody. We invite another church. Um, if you have a youth group or if you have a church that would like to come and compete, just know the stage is ready for you. You can go against us as we against each other. This was a fun night, right? Yeah. It was a real fun night, man. So fun. it was our first time, first game night that we was actually able to publicly show you guys how TYB gets down. We want to thank the lovely host that which we had, Sister Esther. She forgot the mustache at home. And um, which team won? Abraham. 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 Father Abraham. Abraham. Have hey. any son? Hey. Many son. Hey. Father Abraham. I am one of them. Hey. And so hey. are you. Hey. hey. I thought we was going to keep going. All right, man. All right. So, Team Moses won. Uh, it was real fun, man. So, we want to thank you guys. Shella cheated. And uh, support the ministry. You know, support the car washes support the events. We have a, you know, the Back to School concert is going to be coming back in the month of August. And we got many things that we have planned for this year, man. So God bless you guys. We thank you guys. I'm going to ask my brother, Pastor Sove, to say a prayer so we can end out the night. Everybody bow your heads. Bow your heads so we may pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Father God, we thank you for your grace and your mercy. We thank you for your love that renews each and every day, my Lord. We thank you for the gathering of each and every one of us, my Lord. Thank you for being amongst each and every one of us. Thank you for letting us have fun. Even though, Father God, we won, they cheated. Um, we thank you for uh, allowing each and every one of us to get here safely. For those of, uh, who couldn't make it, we ask that you watch over them as well, Father God. Father God, we ask for your strength and your wisdom as we continue to grow as a ministry. We ask that, Father God, that you put your supernatural hands on our ministry, Father God, to take us even further than we could ever imagine exceeds our expectation always. Father God, as we come together, Father God, as youth to bring you glory, Father God, in a world that is so cruel and wicked, my Lord, Father God. We ask that you be with us always. In Jesus' name that I pray. Amen. And I live, I expect victory every time. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you guys for watching. Team Moses, the winning team. <laughs> TYV out. I say DC Studios, the team winning. We're out. Okay.